Hey, I'm Max the Hare. And I'm Tori the Tortoise. Come join us on our adventures across the world. Put your shades on, because we are heading to a really sunny and hot place. We're headed to Cappadocia in Turkey. Whoopee! I love road trips. Not so fast, Max. Oh, look out ahead! Max for maximum speed! Ha <laughs> ha! Ugh, how long more till we get there? It's getting really hot. How are you doing? Not any better, Max. Uh, let me check out the map. Ouch! Oh, what happened? I touched the can, and it was really hot. I was trying to get the map underneath it. Oh, don't reach out for the map then. It must be hot to touch too. Oh, don't be silly, Max. The map wouldn't be as hot as the can. <laughs> Let me explain. These items on the dashboard of a car have been heated by the sun for quite some time. The can is made of metal, and metal gains heat fast, so it's called a good conductor of heat. Paper doesn't allow heat to pass through easily, just like wood and rubber, so they are sometimes used as a layer of protection around hot items, acting as insulators. So, if you wanted to keep your tub of ice cream cold, would you use a metal spoon or a wooden spoon to eat from it? I'm guessing wood? That's right. I knew it. Why is that so? Uh, it was a guess? <laughs> wood is a poor conductor of heat. That means it doesn't allow heat to pass through easily. The metal spoon conducts heat well, allowing heat from your hand to pass easily to the ice cream. This causes your ice cream to melt faster. Oh, I'd love for an ice cream right now. Oh, that talk is making me really thirsty. Oh. Are we there yet? Look ahead, Max. This is our pit stop. Oh, a pool on a hot day! You know, Tori, I'm glad water is a poor conductor of heat. Anytime on a hot day, you bet it will cool you down. I must say, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs>